everyone welcome back to my channel my name is mehek i hope you guys are all fine and like always i also hope that you guys are reading back with the book of the week that i finished it was a very um so my previous read which was on uh, north korea was a little heavy emotionally so i picked up a very light rom uh, rom com read i would say which is about scotland and bookshop and um, really handsome lord so i thought okay this is a perfect setting to unwind now uh, the book is the bookshop of second chances it's by jackie fraser that's how it looks uh, now coming to the story um thea is our main character now she is someone who is in her mid 40s she has recently lost her job and to make matters worse she has just realized that her husband of 20 years has been cheating with her with her best friend um it was a sexting message that she comes across which makes her realize that her husband is cheating on her and now um you know the husband and this new girlfriend wants to start their new life so tia has no option but to pack her belongings and move out from the house with no idea what she wants to do now with her life but uh, the answer comes in a form of a letter so um thea has a great had a great uncle andrew they were not really close but uh, surprisingly this uncle has left her a scottish home and uh, a hefty sum of money now thea is desperate for a new start she just wants to get away from the home and you know get away from the drama and have a time to think about her life now so she decides okay uh, it wouldn't be that bad to take this trip and she can always come you know visit the house see how it is and eventually sell it because obviously she does not have the intention to shift at this new place but once she uh, arrives at the scottish home uh, thea is really taken aback with how beautiful and charming the house is and not just the house the impressive book collection which uh, you know actually includes some of the very rare and collectibles uh, books which i think if thea sells it out she can really get a hefty sum of money again so um, you know she decides that she's going to stay for a while and uh, see if she can find a bookseller that can help selling these books that's when she comes across this grumpy uh, bookseller uh whose name is Edward Edward has a um, second hand bookshop in the town now Edward belongs to a royal family he was a lord but he denounced his title and uh, he has a very complex relationship with his brother Charles who is a lord and in fact Charles shares his estate property with Thea's new home so Thea and Charles also kind of know each other they're kind of neighbors but um, Charles and Edward have a very complex relationship anyways thea decides that she's uh, you know going to extend her stay so why does uh, why not she finds a temporary employment that's when she decides okay uh, she can work at edwards bookshop in spite of the warnings from all the locals that she shouldn't be working with this grumpy man but she was like you know heck why not let me just try so that's when she starts working with edward and suddenly she's in the middle of this brother feud you know that's happening between Charles and Edward now uh, once uh, you know Thea starts working with Edward she realizes that yes Edward is indeed grumpy but he's also really nice he's very attractive he's very engaging the kind of conversations that they have is very smooth and easy going and i think uh, with the months passing by the rapport that they share only strengthens um which um you know and Thea starts finding comfort in that rapport um so and uh, you know as the months go by tia is now comfortable with the rhythm of her new home and this new job but uh, she's also healing from uh, the betrayal of her marriage which has left her with so much of self doubt about herself she's kind of blaming her for this whole situation of her husband cheating so there's a lot of self doubt but um, the more time she's spending with uh, edward she realizes that you know maybe maybe life has still more surprises for her including a new romance um so yeah this is what is majorly the plot of the book i uh, you know i it's a very enchanting easy flowing romantic story a uh, lot of humor also inside i love the scottish setting and of course there is a mention of books in the book because uh, you know 
majority of the story is also happening at Edward's bookshop. So all in all, I think it's a very cozy setting. What I really also enjoyed reading was that both Thea and Edward are in their mid 40s. So it's a mature love story. In fact, uh, you know, it wasn't like uh, a love at first sight. For the majority of the book, Thea was actually um, healing from her broken marriage. And all she was looking is, you know, for friendship and how Edward and Thea really develops this strong bond of friendship. Um, it was also very interesting and humorous to read about Charles and Edward's, the brother's relationship. Um, a silly feud and uh, some humorous instances there. Um, all the other characters also in the book are very likable and I'm sure you are going to enjoy this book. So for someone who is looking for a cozy romantic read to unwind, I think this is the perfect book with a very, um, you know, enchanting and cozy setting. And yeah, so if you're looking for a book that offers, um, you know, possibility of new love and new opportunities late in your life, this is the book. So yeah, that's all on this wonderful book. I'm going to see you guys next week with another title. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. And if you have read this book, please let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.